Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is JC from Stasis Reviews. And today, our first review video, I'm going to do not just one yo-yo, but all of them. Every single C3 yo-yo in my collection. Now, why C3? Because it's my favorite brand. Sure, the yo-yos play fine, but they look beautiful. Uh, with no further ado, I'm going to start with the mono, actually the aluminum, and then we move on to bimetal and titanium. So I ordered these by, I think, release date. I could, I might have some wrong, but generally I think this is the, the right order. And I will spend, try not to spend more than a minute on each yo-yo. This will just be an overview. If you want reviews of specific yo-yos on here, please leave a comment and I can get, I'll, I'll get on that. But for now, let's start with the Teleport. Now the Teleport is my earliest, I believe, C3 yo-yo released in 2014. Now back then this was an extreme, extreme shape, super wide. But nowadays, honestly, this width is kind of, kind of normal. It's still pretty wide, but it's not one of those novelty yo-yos anymore. Now this yo-yo performs fine, especially for when it was released eight years ago. And I think it, it does show some signs of an earlier, like earlier design. For example, the gap isn't as wide as most yo-yos are today, but Honestly, overall, I think it plays well. And the weight is actually around 67, or actually 68 grams. And it doesn't feel like that because I guess because it's somewhat evenly distributed across a, a wider body. And I think that's wonderful. And the, the, the way it feels on the string, it's fast. But the one problem when it comes to super wide oils is that if you go into complex tech tricks, you will it will get in the way, the width will get in the way. But why are you doing that with this yo-yo? Because you're supposed to be doing these big hops and string kits, and it's so hard to miss those with a width of, I think, 51, 51 millimeters. Yeah, so this yo-yo, honestly, aside from the gap, it performs just like a modern day yo-yo. And what I recommend it, it retailed for $50. I'm not sure if it's still available anywhere, but for $50, yeah, it's, it's a wonderful yo-yo that can compete with anything we get today. Honestly, you will, you will hear this a lot today because when it comes to yo-yo design, when it comes to performance, there wasn't a huge leap from say 2015 to 2022 nowadays compared to, for example, from 2005 to 2012, that was a huge leap, a, a massive seven years when it comes to uh, the development in or the advancement of performance. But after that, it, we kind of plateaued. So yeah, this yo-yo is Totally, totally serviceable. If I have to say one con, it would be it, the stability. It's not as stable as some of the other options I have nowadays. Uh, but in exchange, it's fast. This yo-yo is faster than a lot of the, um, even a lot of the, the, the narrower yo-yos that I have in my collection. And you can, honestly, it caters to a pretty specific style. And if it suits you, get it. The next yo-yo is the Move. Now this one is a little bit, um, I, I'd say it's less recommended by me. Now this yo-yo retail for $55. So it's a full, well, it's kind of a budget yo-yo by C3 standard back then, because C3 did release a lot of mono metals for like $120, $130. But in terms, of, in terms of performance, I think this one is lagging a bit behind. Now why? Because this yo-yo is, kind of an older school design with a smaller, just everything is smaller, smaller diameter, smaller width. I want to compare this with a, a crown from 2019, the crown. Now you can see it's narrower a fair by a fair bit and it's smaller. Now this yo-yo is 50, not 50, 68 grams, which is quite heavy. And on such a small body, when you just land it onto the string, it feels, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like one of the one of the modern designs honestly and you can it definitely does affect the performance the oil is not as stable and because of that even though it's heavy you don't it doesn't last that long when it comes to more demanding tricks and combos now it's made for finger spin it's great at that but it's not even the best because now we get yo-yos with specific grooves that are like uh like skyva for example we get a, a a dimple, not dimple, a reverse dimple. <laughs> what is it called? Anyways, we get that. So sure, it's great for finger spin, but for everything else, I think there are better options. The oil looks nice though. I bought this mostly because it's just, it's got a, a really nice, beautiful finish. But yeah, I would recommend this only, only if you 
like how it looks, I guess, because in terms of performance, there are better options. The next one is the Accelerator. Now, this one was made in 2016, I think, but actually it feels like one of the even older models. If you just look at the the finish, and if you look at the, the logo, it feels like kind of old school C3 almost. It, it's not as, not as modern. Yeah, not as sophisticated as some of the C3s nowadays. And the design, it's a sharp, basic sharp design with uh, kind of a, the, the, I have to say the standard V shape, but again, the gap is not so wide. And if you put it on the string at 66 grams, it still feels a little bit heavy. And sure, the name is Accelerator, but I feel like it's, I mean, it's capable of faster combos, but you have to work for it. You have, it's not like a, like a drop near where it feels almost effortless. And yeah, this does take some effort to, to accelerate. But one another problem is the gap, right? The gap is smaller than I think most other yo-yos I have here. And you can definitely feel it during combos if you put multiple layer strings through this, or it, even even with some of the uh, some of the more awkward rotational where you where you get the string to to slide in the gap, you can get a, a, a unintentional bind, which sucks. So I think this yo-yo at forty five dollars retail was probably a decent choice back then, but nowadays I think there are better options. Both, both in terms of design and performance. So would I recommend this yo-yo? Probably not. I, I can't even think of who would buy this yo-yo unless you're a collector, I guess, because we, everything here is has been updated pretty much. And again, it performs fine, but there are better options for the same price. Next one, Railgun. Railgun, this is a uh, yo-yo from 2000 something, 2016. So same as the accelerator, but this one does feel a bit more modern. If you compare the gap, you can see this uh, tapered design almost. The, uh, I'm not sure what to call it, to be honest, but you can definitely feel the difference between this and the accelerator, which is which was from the same year. Now this yo-yo just performs better. Now it's, a, it's not super wide, but back then it was a fairly wide design and I, I think this yo-yo achieved a, an excellent balance between width between its weight and the rim weight and everything because on the string it feels fast but never never uh, flimsy would be the word but never unstable and the shape is a bit uncomfortable but it's not a not a huge issue it's a much it's a much bigger issue with the bimetal version of this which is the crown that we will uh, we will get to that later the railgun, it looks nice, it plays well. If you told me this was released in 2022 this year, I probably would have believed you, believed you. And yeah, I, I, have, I think everything about this yo-yo is up to today's standards, which is nice. If you like the shape, it's a pretty unique, pretty uh, aggressive V-shape. If you like the shape, if you like the design, go for it, $55 retail. Next. The Bastet. Now this one is quite unique. I think it's a very organic shape, but I believe this is one of the best yo-yos when it comes to the logo design. It's a bit hard to see, but the logo and the just the colorway is gorgeous. Honestly, I think it's far better than the early the the previous yo-yos that we went over. It's very a very sophisticated blast finish with. Ah, just a, a beautiful, beautiful logo. So I think this is an excellent choice, excellent yo-yo for this kind of aesthetics because we know that this shape is probably not the best for competition. So we just want something fun, something beautiful to, to carry around with us. The Bastet is an excellent choice. Now this retailed for $45. Again, a pretty standard price for the, I guess, lower end C3. But honestly, I think it performs fine. It, it does everything you'd want it to do. Now, when it comes to, to horizontal, horizontal tricks, it's a bit lacking. You can feel the yo-yo dropping a lot. You can feel the yo-yo kind of rubbing against the string. And the shape overall is not the friendliest when it comes to those extremely demanding maneuvers, but overall it performs fine. And it is a bit narrow, I'd say, by today's standards. But again, it's when it comes to yo-yos like this, it's all about personal preference because you're not really taking it to the limit on this on the competition stage, 
probably not. So yeah, I would recommend this if you like it. And honestly, it's for how beautiful it is, I would pay it just for the looks. Now next, a robot. A robot is signature model of some European champion. I'm trying to see the read of the text. I think it's Thomas something. Crap. Sorry. Sorry, Thomas. But anyways, this robot, this yo-yo is so far, I believe, the best performing yo-yo out of the ones that I've I've talked about. Just look at the shape. It's a again a V-shape, but with more emphasis on the rim. And you can feel that in play. It's it's it doesn't feel heavy, but it feels powerful. And it does spin for quite a while, even if you even if your tricks are uh, how do you say are spin killers. It's fine. You can go through all the speed combos, the hops, with no problems. This yo-yo is honestly the dimensions. I think is probably similar enough to the crown. Yeah, it's almost identical. And the weight is sixty-six grams, but it doesn't feel heavy at all. It's slightly heavier, but and uh, honestly, I think C three and most other companies, when it comes to this point in two thousand seventeen, eighteen, they're just they've plateaued honestly like how much better can you make a yo-yo not with the current technologies when you have yeah so really they're just taking the same stuff and making minor changes like for example the gap for example um the honestly not, i can't even think of anything this yo-yo again this yo-yo can be released this year 2022 even a few years into the future and nobody will bat an eye because that's that's just modern yo-yos. They're they're good enough for pretty, pretty much anything, and any advancement is is honestly minor. So if you like the shape, if you like the looks, pick it up. It will do everything you need it to do. The robot. Now is something a bit more interesting. Master Galaxy Re Master Galaxy. I I never played with the original Master Galaxy, but this yo-yo is a beast. Now <laughs> compare this to the the super wide teleport. And you can see this is wider and i think it destroys the teleport when it comes to performance just because of how stable it is and the way it they work the distri weight distribution and the overall shape makes it feel it's a bit awkward to hold but once it's on the string it feels wonderful it feels floaty stable and it's it's still quite fast now this is made for 5a i believe and those features are definitely important the stability and even for 1A, uh, as long as you're not doing super complex tech combos, if, if your playstyle mainly involves like, body tricks, hops, usually no more than three, uh, two or three layers of strings, I think this yo-yo will do just fine. And the shape is, again, very, very modern because they released a bimetal version just a few years ago with pretty much the same shape, the same, uh, not the same weight, but the same specs otherwise. So this yo-yo is, I would definitely recommend this. I've never played anything like this. Um, maybe the Monster Edge, but even that is, no, that's not quite the same. The Monster Edge is a lot more sluggish, if I remember correctly. For $55, it's a bit more because I guess more material used. I don't know. But, oh, actually, sorry, this is 65 65 yes, a bit more. But it's made of 7075 aluminum, so I guess that's justified. And even though it's 7075, the, the finish still looks beautiful. It seems like C3 really, when it comes to bar, when it comes to, to color, when it comes to splash, C3 really mastered the craft, whatever material it is. So yeah, definitely recommend it if you like the shape. Now we have a very budget, budget yo-yo. And this is the level six. Now level six, it retails for $30, which is as cheap as a a metal yo-yo can get but i think it honestly why is this 30 dollars? I, I i don't know because it i don't think it's lacking anything when it comes to quality control when it comes to design when it comes to just nothing up about this screams a budget yo-yo i think it has everything that a 50 60 dollar yo-yo would have and when it comes to performance same thing it's it performs beautifully on the string now the shape again is is I think everything is a bit squished when it comes to the gap and the profile. I guess that's a that's a sign of yo-yo that's yo-yos that are slightly older, 
I mean, if you compare this to, again, the Crown, which is the standard I use now, it's fairly close. But you can see the gaps are a bit, the gap is just a few millimeters smaller, and the diameter is the same. Because the Yo-Yo does look a lot like the Crown, but it doesn't play quite the same. This is uh, 64 grams, so a bit lighter. And I do think you can feel the slightly narrow profile on the string. It's, how do you put it? It doesn't feel as quite as accommodating as some of the wider options. But that's honestly just personal preference because for with narrower yo-yos, there are definitely advantages. So yeah, this is a budget yo-yo from 2018 that can compete with pretty much any aluminum yo-yo on the market nowadays. So yeah, for $30, I will pick this up. Although there are other $30 options coming up, so you will have to take a look at those. Next, Radius. Radius Nexus. Now this is the budget version of the Radius. They released several versions. The first one was like $120 for a mono metal. The second one is Radius 6068, which was like $60, $70, maybe more. And this one is around, I think, $45 to $55, depending on the color. And this is Xi'an Araya's signature model. And if you look at the shape, it almost looks not, again, it doesn't look like a modern day competitive yo-yo. It's First of all, it's kind of narrow, right? If you compare this to the Bastet, I think they have almost the same dimensions, right? Except, oh, it's a bit, radius is a bit taller than the Bastet, right? Almost same dimensions, except the shape of the radius is a bit more aggressive, just slightly more aggressive. So this is one of the, like they try to find a balance between organic and competitive. and. I think they did a fine job because, again, this yo-yo is the signature model of two-time world champion. And when you play with it, you can feel that it's, at first, it feels a little bit uh, light on the string. But then as you try to be more aggressive with it, when you try to try to put more force onto this yo-yo, it, it handles everything fine. And if you watch Shian Araya's uh, routines, you can see that he, I think, yo-yo, yo-yoing is really a, wor a workout for this guy. He really puts a lot of effort into almost every movement, and the radius can can handle that no problem. And even though this is the cheapest 6061 version, it's the performance is definitely on par with the expensive versions, because it's again, it's honestly I don't have any complaints about this one except for maybe it's a bit narrower again, but that's personal preference. Yeah, it's a, an excellent yo-yo. I think this this is one of their most popular yo-yos along with the with the crown and there's a good reason why. And next, we have finally the crown, the most popular yo-yo in the C3 lineup. I don't know what to say and it's the I, I I think this is like the C3's version of Shutter. It does everything well. Especially the speedier tricks because this is the signature model of Shinya Kido. Now this yo-yo is it's not Again, it's not the fastest, but it's fast enough. And you have to put in some effort to get it to, to peak speed, but you can also do tech tricks. You can do all kinds of all kinds of tricks with this and it will, it will handle them just fine, whether it's tech, speed, horizontal, not grinds, not this version for grinds, but and also not finger spin. But yeah, most things you do, you would do on a competition stage, this yo-yo can handle them. And it's, honestly, it's beautiful. I got the, the gold and black colorway, which is a gloss finish, but most of the crown are matte finished with beautiful splash and beautiful. Uh, the logo is also amazing. So yeah, it's a yo-yo with everything. Looks, performance, budget friendly. I would recommend this to anyone. This could be the yo-yo that you get and use for for years and years, and you probably probably wouldn't really need an upgrade from this. All right, next up, our next C3 budget yo-yo, which is the Cyber Crash. Now this is an extension of the Crash series, which is also quite popular. And it's got the kind of a slightly H profile. And it, the budget, the cheapest version is $30. And at that price, again, 
What are we missing out on? Nothing. It's got everything a full-priced yo-yo should have. And performance-wise, it's it's a bit, it feels a bit heavier than Crown on the string. It's a bit more stable than the Crown, but in exchange, it's uh, a bit sluggish, more sluggish if you want to speed up. So when it comes to this yo-yos from after 2019, C3 is just hit after hit. Honestly, at this point, it's hard to make a, a terrible yo-yo. Like, if I pick up a yo-yo and it's terrible, uh, I'd be really surprised whether it's C3 or any other company, just because of how, how advanced we are and how consistent we are when it comes to engineering and design. So yeah, pick it up if you like the color, if you like the shape, and it will not, you will not be disappointed. Next up, Bastet 2. Bastet 2, this, compare this to the original Bastet. I think there was like a five year, or like a four year gap between the two. This is from 2021. And they were, I think they did some tricks here. They kept the, the overall profile mostly the same, except this one is wider. And they made it wider and they made the inside more of an hourglass shape compared to the Bastet one. And thanks to the hourglass, this yo-yo is a lot more competition oriented, especially for a for an organic yo-yo. Um, it's much, much better than the Bastet when it comes to horizontal tricks. It's still not the best, but again, it, I think when it comes to uh, an organic, organic yo-yo, this is as good as you can get. So if you like the shape, and if you like cats, I guess, I don't know why like they did a cat theme for this. Uh, I don't know. But if you like cats, if you like the shape, yeah, this is a wonderful choice for a organic throw. Uh, where are we now? I think we are at... Huh? Oh yeah, this one. Boom. Now this is the yo-yo I do not know how to pronounce. Let me try. Le I will not try. Okay. This yo-yo, the -yo, this yo-yo is also a budget yo-yo at $35. And this shape kind of reminds me of the real gun. But again, you can see this a more slightly more modern kind of feel to it with the the way they pretty much every yo-yo now does this. Every competition yo-yo now does this, has this ledge, I guess. And it's a bit bigger, right? And it's wider. Yeah, because with competition yo-yos nowadays, I think they're just going bigger, wider. That's the, the trend. And the Levitin. Levitin? Yes, yeah, Levitin. There you go. Levit Levit. Levitin. Levitine. The Levitine is... Wow. Oh, it's a great yo-yo, honestly. I, I do think the the spin time on this is a bit lacking compared to some of the other options. But it's a, a very all-rounded yo-yo. So I want to compare this the width to the the teleport and see okay so it's not not quite as wide right so that's why it, like, when it comes to even more complex tricks this yo-yo does fine it's another all-rounder but compared to say the crown i think this i do think the spin time is its biggest flaw even though it does seem to be there, there seems to be quite a bit of rim weight so this is yo-yo you have to you have to try first. Like he, if you, if you like the width and how fast it is on the string, sure, uh, go for it. But otherwise, I think for a safer bet, I would get the maybe the Cyber Crash as a as a budget option. But honestly, I, I'm just picking bones now because like, what, what what can you say about a modern yo-yo? It's sure it's a, lacking a bit when it comes to spin time, but. Is it more than enough for me to compete, to, to complete everything I need to do? Yes. So, yeah, get it if you like it. Our second last yo-yo is the Wind Jet, Wind Down, what's with the names nowadays? Wind Downdery, Wind Downdery. Now, one reason I say this yo-yo, this Levitin is a bit lacking when it comes to spin time is because I bought these yo-yos at the same time. And you can see their kind of profile is somewhat similar. They're both released within uh, the past year, 2021. But this yo-yo honestly destroys the Leviton when it comes to 
spin time and stability, and I'm not sure why. Okay, maybe destroys is, is a bit exaggerated, but you can you can feel a clear difference. And this yo-yo is designed for, I believe it's a mix between the the remastered Galaxy and the Leviton. Leviton. And uh, I don't know why this yo-yo is so good. It's, I think, the best mono metal I've played from the C3 lineup. Now, this is kind of subjective because I, I don't do that much tech. So I do the tricks I do generally don't mind a, this kind of wide profile. And when you don't mind that, when you get that out of the way, the CO is honestly brilliant. It performs as well as most bimetals that I own when it comes to spin time and stability. And it's not even it's not even slow. Like it's not like you're sacrificing something for this, for this. Uh, yeah, I, I can't think of any any con any complaints I'd have with this yo-yo. It is forty five dollars, and I think it's worth every penny. Definitely try this yo-yo. Next up, our last entry is a yo-yo from twenty twenty two, the Berserker Decade. Compare this to the radius. I think the profile is similar enough. The Berserker is a bit wider because the radius is honestly quite narrow. And the size is almost, or the diameter is almost identical. The Berserker is 66 grams. And for some reason, it feels a little bit heavy on the string. It feels bulky, way bulkier than the, oh, sorry, not bulky, way more. I don't want to say sluggish, but I think it's a bit sluggish compared to the, the radius, for example. But honestly, nowadays, I think they're just, again, recycling the same shape over and over again. The Berserker, the Crown, the radius, the difference is honestly fairly minor. But this one the, the stands out because it's it feels heavier. It definitely feels heavier. And if you want to speed up, you can, but it will take some effort. So, and... In exchange, you do get a yo-yo that's quite stable. Not quite as stable as the Wind Downdry, but I think it's, again, it's serviceable, especially if you like yo-yos that are more, with more of a presence and more, just more powerful. This is definitely your choice compared to, say, the, the, the Radius, which feels a bit flimsier. The Berserker feels way more solid. So that, if that's your preference, get it this is around 45 dollars with tons of gorgeous colorways to choose from and uh, this is my last mono metal yo yo thank you for sitting through this with me and i hope you enjoyed i hope you enjoy the comparison between the the c3 yo yos and I, I know i probably this is my first review i probably talked a bit much but i try to keep it short and again if you have specific yo yos you want me to talk about please leave a message i will Try my best to, to get to it and have a good day. Thank you.